Today's recipe is new for us, but it is a traditional holiday recipe nonetheless. Today we are making homemade eggnog. All right guys, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make homemade eggnog. Here in the States, everybody buys their eggnog at the store, so I'm really excited just to dive into this recipe and see what it takes to make a homemade eggnog. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off by just making the base for this eggnog. Get that on low heat. Low, low, low. It's really, it's almost kind of like a custard, so just pour the milk in there. Get the milk. Yeah, and the cream. Mm, so good. Two cups of that, and then. Spices. I'm spice it up. So we have cinnamon here, nutmeg. Oh, and the ginger. Super aromatic, has a nice like spicy flavor. All right, so while that's simmering, I'm gonna separate my eggs. Separate the yolks from the white. Once I'm done doing this, I'm gonna incorporate a ton of air into both of these actually, because you want the eggnog to be really nice and fluffy. Now I'm gonna whisk these up with about a half cup of sugar and get them really nice and pale and fluffy. So I'll just pour that right in. Do you wanna whisk this up? Sure. All right. All right, so you're gonna whip this up until it's really pale and fluffy. It should take about 10 minutes or so. That's looking good, babe. Yeah. All right, you're gonna pass that off to me and we're gonna start actually tempering the egg yolks with the hot cream. All right. And this is gonna kill off all that nasty bacteria in the egg yolks, make us feel nice and safe. Full bore. Oh now it's all tempered. Nice. We're gonna pour this back into the pot. We're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes or so just until it starts to simmer. If you guys are enjoying this recipe, I have loads of recipes on my own channel, Byron Talbot, here on YouTube, so be sure to check that out and subscribe. So I also have a channel here on YouTube, it's beauty and lifestyle type videos, so if you're interested in that, please come and check it out, Rachel Talbot, and I'll see you guys there. All right, so while our egg yolk mixture is cooking away, we're gonna whip up our egg whites. I'm gonna add the egg whites that I separated earlier to my handy dandy stand mixer. Add a few tablespoons of sugar, and then turn this on high speed. Pull this out. Nice, stiff beets, not too, not too stiff, but just enough for this recipe. Now, sweetheart, if you could just pour this gently. That is beautiful. Isn't it? Beautiful. I think this is gonna take eggnog to a whole nother level. Making homemade eggnog, you know, it's just so, so different. I'm not used to seeing people make it from scratch. And it's a fun process. It's very similar to making custard, but it's like a custard drink. Eggnog is such an interesting drink idea. All right, that's all done. Eggnog has come together. Uh, but now I have to let this chill in the fridge for at least an hour or so. So our eggnog is chilled, ready to go. There's only one last finishing touch um, that I want to put on there is uh, some booze. So <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spike it with some spiced rum. Now I have some spiced rum and some regular rum. You can obviously you know, adjust it how you want. And you can definitely have it without yeah. the alcohol as well. Smooth, creamy, some velvety texture. I love it. Mm. Oh, it looks good. Oh, right? it smells good. Doesn't it? Look at that. So good. It's spiked, chilled, ready to go. Now it's into a glass. All right. You want to just garnish that with yeah. just a little bit of okay. the cinnamon? Add a stiff you cinnamon pour. stick in there. Oh, that looks so good, sweetheart. I'm I think excited. this is a perfect holiday party drink. Huh? Amazing. All right. All right. Let's let's taste it. Hmm. Ooh, it's so good. Actually, I think this is better than any store-bought eggnog I've ever tried, partially because it's not overly sweet and it's not too rich. Sometimes I'm so overwhelmed by the eggnog in the stores. Um, so this is just like a really nice specialty drink. I really like it. Yeah, I mean, just being able to customize your own recipes, making things from scratch and homemade, I think is sort of the way to go, especially with the holidays. And when you have family and friends around, you can kind of impress them by doing things homemade. And, uh, sort of going from scratch. So much better than store-bought, so I recommend you guys trying this out, making your own homemade eggnog, and enjoying the holidays with your friends and family. So me and Rachel wish you a happy holidays, and we'll see you guys next time on The Dish.